Hello, don't these look delicious? Thanks to my daughter, this is now one of our favorite desserts. Takes a little time to make, but totally, totally worth it. Especially if it's hot out, it's summer, and you're looking for a healthier alternative to eating ice cream, then this might be for you. So before I get started, this came about because my little one, who's under 10, loves to watch videos online and then she's constantly going in the kitchen and experimenting with things and she's you know I'll go in the kitchen to make something and my entire container of cornstarch is gone and um, when I ask what happened to it she's like oh I saw this video and I wanted to try to make this thing and I'm like well where's the thing she's like well it didn't work out so yeah um, I'll put it on the list so you can buy it when you go to the store. Okay, great. Thanks. And this is one thing that she made. And when she said, mom, try this, it was so good. And I said, oh my goodness, I need to make these in a big batch because these are delicious. So let me show you what she did and how good they were. And let's get started. I have low fat vanilla yogurt. So I'm just going to put that in a bowl. You can do this with Greek yogurt and it would be even healthier for dessert. Um, but this is what I have in the fridge. So this is what I'm making it with, but Greek yogurt would be even better. Okay, so now just put the yogurt aside and then get your fruit, whatever fruit you wanna use. She made it with strawberries and it was delicious. Vanilla yogurt with fresh strawberries. The flavor combo was amazing, but you can do raspberries, you can do blueberries, whatever fruit that you like or that you have. Um, and just dice it up fairly small, not too small. And you're just gonna mix it with the yogurt. And I do plan on trying this with fresh mango pieces. I think that would be delicious too, or even bananas. Okay, so once your fruit is chopped up, just grab your yogurt and you're just gonna mix the fruit in the yogurt. Now you want probably about double the amount of fruit than the amount of yogurt that you have. So if you have one cup of yogurt, do two cups of fruit. That's how we like it. We like it more fruity than yogurt. Um, if you want yours more yogurt, then just put less fruit. So I'm gonna mix this up and let's see how it looks. Okay, I definitely want some more fruit in here. I want this a little more chunky or a little more bite to it. So I'm gonna cut up a little bit more fruit. Okay, so this should do the trick. Okay, so this is about the consistency that we like. Nice and chunky style, lots of fruit in there. And then you're gonna get a baking sheet and you're gonna line it with some parchment paper. And this is where you're gonna place your fruit and yogurt clusters to put them in the freezer to get them to freeze. If you wanna do bite size uh, little yogurt chocolate covered desserts, you can use silicone molds and make like little bonbons. But I'm just gonna make the larger little frozen dessert size. And you just want to take about a tablespoon of the yogurt and the fruit um, and just put it on the parchment paper. You can do two tablespoons if you want them bigger. You can do a teaspoon if you want them smaller. But I do about a tablespoon and I just spread them out about maybe half an inch apart. Okay, so these are getting put in the freezer and these are gonna sit in the freezer all day because I'm off to work and I will get to these tonight. See you later. 
Okay guys, so the yogurt strawberry bites are frozen. So now what I'm gonna do is get everything set up so that we can coat them in chocolate and then put them back in the freezer and that'll be the final step. Okay guys, so these are frozen rock solid. There's one missing because my daughter took one and ate it like that and she said it was delicious. <laughs> so that's good. Um, so now, let me just show you. And it comes right off the parchment paper. See that? So now we wanna coat these in chocolate. We're gonna do dark chocolate chips and we are gonna sprinkle them with some crushed almonds on top. And to do this, I'm gonna put these back in the freezer until I'm all set up to dip in the chocolate. You don't want them to start melting. And then we'll set up the double boiler to do the chocolate. I'll be right back. Okay, so you can do this by melting the chocolate in the microwave, but I prefer the double boiler method. Um, and if you don't have one of those special little pots, then just make your own. So I just have a little saucepan here with some water in it. And I'm just gonna put a bowl right on top. And then as the water, let me bring you over here. As the water starts to simmer, it'll make the bowl hot, the chocolate will melt, and we'll be in business. So we're just gonna take, now I don't know how much chocolate I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna eyeball a little bit, and if I need to add more, you can always add more. So I have my chocolate chips, and now to make this a little smoother, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the chocolate, just like that. And that's gonna help make it nice and smooth. You can use coconut oil, you can use some avocado oil, whatever you have. And that's it, I'm gonna get this on. And I'm just gonna wait for this to start simmering and to start melting. And you just wanna make sure you have your tray with the wax paper ready. I have mine right here, just a plain old tray with some wax paper so the chocolate doesn't stick. And while I wait for that to start melting and simmering, I am going to chop up a little bit of almonds, some sliced raw unsalted almonds. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top as I take them out of the chocolate. It'll give it a nice little extra flavor. Do this slowly. I'm going slow because I don't want them to like ricochet off and fly all over the place. There we go. A little bit of chopped raw almond. This is coming along nicely. All right. Just want to make sure it's mixed well because of the olive oil and make sure there's no chunks. Look how smooth that is. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so you want to work in batches because if you take the whole tray of yogurt out now, by the time you get to the middle and the last ones, they'll have started to melt and you won't be able to coat them. So just take three out, coat them, put them on the tray, go get another three, coat them, put them on the tray. Work in batches. Okay, so I got three of my yogurt things. So I'm just gonna drop one in like that. And with my little chocolate dipping tool, I'm gonna move it around and scrape off some of the excess, just like that. Because we don't want it doused in chocolate, just a light, nice coating. Let it drip a little bit. Let the excess chocolate drip off a little bit. 
and I still have the burner on, but I have it on low so that the water is simmering very slowly and it's keeping the chocolate hot as I work with the cold yogurt clumps. And if you see that the chocolate starts to get a little too thick, just turn the boiler up a little bit. All right. And now I'm going to bring you over here and I'm going to put this right on the parchment paper, just like that. Perfect. And the next one, give your chocolate... Once you get it on there, you just want to make sure you sprinkle a little bit of the almond on there before it gets to cool down. And then I'm going to bring you back over here. When you're doing this, I would turn it from a simmer to a medium low. So the chocolate doesn't start cooling down. So now give it a stir, make sure it's nice and hot. Okay. I'm going to go in number two, just like this, and take it out. Bang it a little bit, let the excess chocolate drip off. Okay, yogurt number three. And that's it, just keep going until they're all covered. And if the chocolate starts to run low, just add a little bit more chips, add a little bit more olive oil, and just wait for it to melt and just keep on going. Okay, so while I wait for this to melt, this is what we have so far. I dropped this one and I made a big mess, but that's okay. And yeah. So this is what we have so far. They look delicious. They almost look like those um, those uh, chocolate candies called turtles that are like caramel and pecans inside. Like I, I'm looking at this and I feel like I'm going to bite into it and it's going to be like caramel and pecans. But no, it's yogurt and strawberries, but it's going to be delicious. So once these are done, I can fit about four more here. I'm going to pop them in the freezer. And uh, I'll show you later how they look when you bite into them. Yum. Okay, guys, I'm popping these in the freezer. I have three left, but I have no room, so I'm going to put them on a separate plate. Okay, so I have these in the freezer, and they're just going to hang out here for about an hour, and then they should be good to go. Actually, they're going to be in here all day because it's 7.15 a.m., and these are going to be for dessert tonight. So, yum. See you tonight. Hey, guys. Here we have them. So these are the finished product. So let me put one on a plate and show you. There we go. See that? Nice. I'm gonna put these back in the freezer so they don't get melted. Okay, so let's cut into one of these and I'll show you how And there we go. Voila. Yogurt, strawberry, chocolate covered dessert. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's really good. Really, really good. Ooh. Cold. Super delicious. My daughter actually likes it when you let them sit for a few minutes out and it starts to melt a little. She loves it like that. I like them ice cold like this. It's like slushy inside. Super delicious. And there you have it. Walk out with a plate of these for dessert. Guaranteed your family will love it. Kids, adults, everybody. And these would probably be good with banana. I'm going to have to give that a try next. But anyway, the strawberry ones, vanilla yogurt fresh strawberries or raspberries. Delicious. Anyway, thanks for watching and enjoy your summer. Bye.